Hey, I think I got it to work. Uh, hi. So, uh, I know I'm not supposed to be streaming tonight. Well, I'm not supposed to be streaming tomorrow, but I'm definitely not supposed to be streaming tonight. Um, but I thought... I want to finish this goddamn game, so... Why not finish the goddamn game? Congratulations, Hiltzy. You have just earned th seven million lives. Use them wisely. Don't spend them all on a fancy record player or something. I don't know. Listen. You settle down, Pernt. Settle down. Also, I told you the beard would grow back. <gasps> Quack! Pernt. What the fuck are you saying? Is 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 your dog typing? Is Fluff typing? That's that's what's happening. That's it. That's what it is. Okay. Those are, oh, listen, listen. I haven't played Doom in like like regular Doom in like the, yeah. Go, oh, Pert. You're drunk. It's not 1994 anymore, Pert. We have new cheat codes now. We have game genies. I am home and I'm always drunk. Fair. All right, that's fair. Anyway, so yeah, I figured what the hell. I'll just. I, I'm, I'm not working tomorrow. Bean's not working tomorrow. We're not doing shit tomorrow. So I thought, what the hell? You could play Doom on your John. That's true. You can, Hilsey. Hilsey, do you really have a John Deere tractor? Like, if you do, I'm. I'm just going to be impressed. All right, you know, fuck it. We're we're done with the intros. Who gives a shit? Let's play the goddamn game, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's just Uh oh. not just late night, but unscheduled. You do you have a fuckload of money. Yeah, that's true. I was going to say, Hilsey, I, I would be just extremely impressed. All right, let's uh Play the game. The person who used to maybe used to work for John Deere in a way. Since I'm not working to, I don't, I don't know. Like, that's the thing, Viv. There's no schedule. I'm not press. I didn't press the button at exactly 7:30 on the dot. I don't know what's happening. To completion. All right, I'm going to get out a map. I want a map because... What? Ghosty! Ghosty. Ghosty, how the absolute fuck are you, bud? I love you. I'm so glad to see you. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in from the ghosty raid. I see Ghost and Vi. Howdy, howdy. Ghosty, how how the absolute fuck is Tunic going? Are you are you digging up Vi, listen. Vi, if you like if you if you like the the scene, you're going to love when I change the channel. It's fantastic. Listen, I I spent me I spent like fucking I don't oh like too much. Oh! Hey, that works. Ooh. Ooh, Viv, it works. I mean, it, like, it doesn't pop for me because I already follow Ghosty. But if you don't follow Ghosty, you probably see a thing in your chat right now. Over, prob it's, it's probably over there. But it might be over there. But it's probably over there. Either way, or it might be down there. I don't know. The point is, if you're not following Ghosty, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Follow the man and watch his strims. And watch him get really angry at Souls games. It's great. It's very great. Um, but, Ghosty, it's always a pleasure to see you, bud. You finished it? Did you? Okay, I gotta ask. Alright, let, let me get back to the game. So, Ghosty, did you get... 
Did you did you get all the pages of the manual? Viv, I'm gonna work it into the uh, like the, the the bot command here before too long. Um, but Ghosty, did you get all the pages of the manual, or did you go and like just have the fight? That is Pern. That is a new Twitch thing that went live today. Oh, you're missing one page. Oh, I gotcha. Tay, thanks for the host. Good to see you, friendo. You didn't get all the fairies. Oh, the fairies are hard as fuck to find all of them and get it all. Not gonna lie. Uh, to save myself the time, I went through and did a guide to get the ones that I was... Uh, that I missed. <laughs> did you get that is any of the fairies? It's... Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Um... To like the hunting process, but yeah, you get on. Yeah, it's you. You don't need them. You don't need them. It's over nine thousand. Hey, look at that! You can. Oh, I guess it's been. Yeah, it'll let you do like one a minute. That's true. What's really fun, Pert? is that when you shout somebody out in Ghosty, you can verify if you go look at your dashboard, uh, your your creator dashboard in Twitch, or in your mod view or whatever, anywhere that you can actually see your uh, your events, don't give her a shout out. <laughs> but you can look in your activity log, like where you see where people follow and sub and stuff like that. I've never done it that way before! Oh my god! Oh my god! I've never done it like that before! Holy shit, it worked! Anyway, um... Yeah, it shows up in your dashboard, so you can see when someone shouts you out now. It's very nice. Yeah, go, go away thing. But yeah, I like it. It's a it's a neat new feature. But Ghosty, I'm glad. How how hard was the final boss fight? Because I'm sure you saw in the manual you had two options. You could do the fight, or you could share your knowledge. Um, and I opted for option B. Nom's pepperoni pizza roll. Oh, oh, Tay, Tay, just fantastic, buddy. I'm. I will take 73 pizza rolls, please. Actually, we had chicky tendies for dinner, so pretty excited about that. Well, I had I had nuggies and Bean had tendies. I yeah, I bet it was, man. No, no, no. no. Ugh. Ugh. Hi. Love you. There's a bean. She just came from the the shabu. Burton says hello. Uh, 60 attempts before using a couple of decoys and wrecking. Yeah, that, that sounds about exactly like what I expect that fight would go like. Oh. Viv, Viv wants me to give you all of his love, not just like some of it, but like all of it. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that is Odang. Bean is impressed, and also she loves you. Don't have the energy or ingredients to make your homemade pizza rolls. Oh, homemade pizza rolls sound so good. Ah, oh, damn it. But maybe something after the fight. Uh, which page are you missing, Ghosty? Are you missing, like, the very beginning? I'm gonna get at this again. I'm gonna do it again like that. I've never done that, but I'm gonna do it. Oh, so close. It would have been impressive. 
pot chalky. Roll out crescent. You, you know what, though, Tay? Whatever, bud. Whatever you gotta do, man. Just the last... Oh, the last one? Oh, maybe it is the last... Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't remember whether it was the first or the last one. I... It is... It is a pain in the ass to get that one page, Ghosty. Like, it's so stupidly complicated to get that one page. But for the other, like... For the other ending, it's... Man, it's worth it. If you're willing to go through it, or at least, like, go to a guide to, to figure out the solution to that particular puzzle, I cannot recommend it enough. It's... It's... But yeah, it is it is an absolute pain in the butt to to get it all. Fifty degrees? Ooh, fifty degrees sounds nice. to get frost tonight oh yeah that you're right that is that is in fact less nice there we go that's all i wanted i just wanted the other one hot chalky bean pern's getting hot chalky she's got hot chalky weather going on Around here, it doesn't get to be hot, chalky weather until, like, around Bean's birthday. So, but then, when it is, you better believe it's hot, chalky times. Hi, Breezy. I am. I am. I figured I'd, I'd uh, I'd play the game a, a little while. It's, uh, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be hunkering down tomorrow. Prince says you can come over for hot chalky if you want. He says, okay. Insert turnip boy here. Okay. God, that game was so good. There you go, ghosty. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Corn, pigs, and hot chalky. Yes, but the hot chalky's imported. From like, I don't know, Illinois or something. I don't know where hot chalky comes from. Let's see what do we got here? Um Oh right, I have one of those up there. The final boss fight really isn't going to take terribly long, so I'm just hunting for items for, for a little while. Because what the hell, why not? Why not go back and do the fight? So, here's the thing. Um, I started in, like, when you finish, you know, you can do New Game Plus, and I, I did start a New Game Plus. But you can't, um, because you like you you when you choose an ending, it's over. So like you can't go back. So if I were to do it, I'm gonna have to do, finish the game all over again. But like I said, I I started a new game plus, which lets you keep most of your stuff. So that's nice. But in true New Game Plus spirit, it is, it is more difficult. All right, is that everything? All right, I gotta go. Let's go over here and go to the wrecked ship and work our way back around because I got all that stuff. 
Yeah, I got that too. Excellent. No notes. Animal cracker covered in chocolate dipped in sprinkles. Elena, buddy, you're living your best life, and I gotta say, I'm happy for you. Bean, there's an Elena. Yeah, totes. She's eating animal crackies. Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. So, Bean got these... She got these graham crackers. These, like, um... Uh, like goldfish graham crackers. So they're the goldfish shapes. But they are flavored like the pumpkin spice donuts from Duncan. And they taste exactly like the donuts, but in uh in goldfish cracker form. And but has she had uh, pumpkin spice bologna? Listen here, motherfucker. Listen, listen the absolute fuck here with your pumpkin spice baloney. <laughs> yeah, that's how you know Lockhart's here. <laughs> She's like, I knew it. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. Happy Tuesday. Hello. Hey, remember when we don't have work tomorrow? Oh, they actually just, we don't have work tomorrow. No, no, work is canceled. Yeah, all operations oh. are closed tomorrow. <laughs> Removes Lolly from the call. I mean, tough, but fair. Oh. Yeah. And we have... Oh. So, listen, I... Uh, by the way, while, I, while you're here, uh, I would recommend uh, loading up the old E3 uh, later, or at some point convenient to you. Uh, there's a phone number, or there's an extension. I think ours is like 899... One one or something, which is like uh -huh. Tampa branches and uh, Fritz. Thanks for the host, buddy. Uh, and um, Tampa branches and main operations to determine whether or not we're going to be uh, going back on Thursday. So, just thought you should probably know about that. Uh, I okay, guess. but what? If instead, uh -huh. I just asked my boss on like Wednesday night. Oh, he, but he's terrible. <laughs> Don't talk to him. Don't talk to your he's boss. He's actually kind of the best. I he has really good taste in restaurants. Okay, well that's I I I gotta give you that. I gotta give you that. He yes, he does have excellent taste. In, just food in general. Sure, but specifically restaurants. That's true. That's true. Also, hi. Hi. How how's your uh how's your animal crackies? My animal crackers are good. They are making up for the like half bag of soil I pulled out of my gutter about two hours ago. Yeah, you know what? That's that's okay though. You did it, and you're you're much better for it. Yes. That's one of that gutter is one of our problem gutters. So. We noticed something growing out of it, and I was like, uh... Ladder. Let's... I got it draining again, though, so that's, you know, progress. That's progress, and in, in very good considering all the rain we're about to get. Uh, yes. Breezy, I, we're, in, we're in Tampa. We're in the Tampa Bay area. We're very much in the Tampa Bay area where, where all of the stuff goes. Like hurricanes. No, no, no. We're not in the area where hurricanes normally go. This one thought about it, but apparently probably isn't. We're actually not evacuating, Breezy. Um, it's it's actually heading south of us. Um, so we're we're actually in a we're in a as place. As long as it doesn't wobble again, we're probably fine and Zunder's in an actual evacuation zone if it did wobble, but Lolly and I are not. We're in a no flood zone, so. Yeah, they are. They are in a like, they are in a no evac at, at all zone. Like I still would if it was certainly 
we'll chat on a direct hit, but yeah. we don't have to. Yeah. Look at that. Part of the ship that's not completely broken. Oh no, I know you do, Breezy. I know you do. But no, we're we're in a good spot here. Um We are like especially since the last, I don't know, thirty six hours or so. Uh things have changed um uh very much in our favor. Yes. I think I got that. It's putting us on the good side of the storm. It's not a direct hit. Yeah, we're we're in a we're it, in a good it, place. It, now. It's hitting in probably about the best place it could be for us. It for starting as close as it did. Agreed. Absolutely agreed. We get a parachute into it. No, 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 no. CK White, we actually shoot in. We fire bullets into the hurricane. That's how it works. That's how you fight it. You see. Actually, I'm a gonna bus. go outside and just like punch the hurricane. I'm just gonna punch into the wind and then you know, and then I will beat the I hurricane. I told uh, in a work meeting today, I said I don't have a gun, so I'm going to just go out there and swat at it with my machete. Oh, there you go. And, and the, the, the zoomer from out of state did not believe me. Yeah. Yeah, come on, CK. Well, let's go. It is. You're right, Viv. It is the Florida man away. That's right. And thank you, Breezy. We appreciate it. Yeah, let's work our way back through Meridia. Let's get some clean Tupperware, catch some hurricane air, and sell it on eBay. You know, honestly, honestly, not a bad idea. Not at all. Oh, Breezy, I can only imagine what it's like y'all that's I, I I just oof that has got to be so tough come on Sammy let's go let's go Sammy's gonna come help us fist fight the hurricane yeah Tom actually had a great idea uh, what if we just all go out on the beach and like we all get line up along the coast and we all have to do it together but we all have to like blow like into the wind so we have to blow against it to, to counteract the hurricane. You you said Tom, so my first thought was fart. That's... He didn't say how. He didn't have to say we'd have to do it with our mouth. So for Tom, that may actually be his intended way of doing it. I'm just glad I don't actually have to take apart my fence like Tom's father. Yeah, he he's got a he's got a very old fence. He's got to get a politician there with you, and they'll blow out the hurricane. Yeah, you say that, but the politicians in Florida are actually maybe more useless than anywhere else in the country. Yeah, they they they're not gonna stay for a hurricane. They're gonna go to some other country in their like second or third or fourth resort. Please see Ted Cruz and the Texas Freeze. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, remember that Sorry. time? Remember that time you weren't wrong? <laughs> Sorry, I well, have um, opinions. <laughs> did you see the uh, the whole thing with DeSantis' little slip-up? Oh, Jesus, no. What did you do now? He the meant, hurricanes he said, can affect our golf courses. Yeah, he said golf courses, and he meant to say golf coast. Well, he meant to say golf courses, but he, he should have said golf coast. Yeah, we either blow the hurricane or fart in its general direction. And hurl weird French insults at it. I did miss it, Breezy. I'm sorry. It's true. You are the most amazing. It's true. So, Tank and family have evacuated. They Tank left. Tank family. God, I love Tank and family. I, uh... 
I made sure to get their phone number before before they left, and I told them I would make sure I'd, I'd let them know if their house wasn't still standing. Fantastic. Also, I love mm. that, that Viv and Tay actually put it in chat at the same time. What they put in chat? I'm, your mother I'm was a hamster my... and your father smelt of elderberries. Ooh. Bowser, where are you, buddy? I think I got both of those. Yeah, I did. Come on, Bowser. Come no. on, buddy. No, I don't want to. But he's a dog. It's kind of like it's not wet, but I feel little droplets. It's moist. And it is. It is moist, but also not quite yet. But I soon expect it to be fucking windy around here. Yeah, we're supposed to shelter in place by midnight. No. We sure are, but that's okay. We're. I think I think we are. Especially us, we are already sheltered in place. We, we've we been sheltering in place for two and a half years. Alright. <laughs> I mean, actually, no, we've been out more this past week than most, like, months at a time. Because we've been like, alright, gotta go find plywood, gotta go get a saw, gotta go get saw horses so that people don't saw their legs off. Right. You know. You're talking about me. I'm an idiot. I'm, I'm a left-handed person with a saw. You don't trust no, me with a saw. No, hey, I wasn't going to call you out, okay? I wasn't going to tell him that you decided that cutting a board across two padded, folded chairs was a good idea. Buddy. You don't know what I'm doing? He knows this. Uh, listen, I pay you to not know what you're doing. Are you kidding me? Exactly. I pay you to, uh, in fact, I pay you to explain to other people about how little you know what you're doing. Except for the problem with this is my last two years of shipping before I came a, before I became a white collar office worker, I was making custom wooden crates to ship to Mexico. So I know my way around a saw. That's I, I was I was not pleased with with this decision. <laughs> Elena's like, I've, I did my time at FedEx. Well, this was the little company after FedEx that I was oh. doing uh, natural gas systems to Mexico for. So we were sending them in wooden crates that I was cutting from, you know, mass sized wood. So I understand a saw and was like, no. I did. He did a couple of the cuts on the chairs. I did the rest of the cuts on the workbench, and then we bought two saw horses today. So neither of us ever have to do any of that again. Because the workbench was not ideal either. We didn't have enough wiggle room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But it was still significantly more stable than the padded folding chairs. Elena's a professional assaulter. Uh, sure, I guess. No, I am not a professional with the saw, but um, hey. I've used one more in my life than Lollipop has. Did you get paid to use it as part of your but... job? That was like forever ago. I wouldn't count that as professional now. Like, well, I mean, you don't, you didn't retain the skills, but you were at one point in your life a sawing professional. I mean, I don't know. Chris said I actually looked like I knew what I was doing with it, so. So yes. Like, we were outside for how long today, and my allergies are fucking with me now? <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. I am allergic to being outside. You really Buddy, are. You're allergic to so much. You're allergic to, like, everything. Life? Yeah. Yeah, you uh, kind of are there, buddy. It's fine. I get to, oh, so, um, if I don't work tomorrow, do I need to wake you up, Elena? How, I don't, how we... I don't know. There. Work is not to be my priority, but also, like, sitting around staring at the weather reports is probably not good for my mental health, so if I can, like, poke at a spreadsheet, that might be better for me. 
but I also don't know if I need to be like up at a certain time to do that. I don't um, know. I'll I'll think about that. Tay, the part earlier was the crash ship. Um, I and I'm actually down inside the planet now. Um, in this the the aquatic region known as Meridia. But I was in a crash ship for a few minutes. Yeah, it's it's basically like what's left of wreckage from the crashed space pirate ship. Actually, at some point, I'm gonna play Zero Mission. Uh, I actually just got done with a a playthrough of it on my own just last over the last couple of days. Um, and oh, so good. Really love Zero Mission. Let's just save here. Um, but Zero Mission's a remake of Metroid 1 for the Game Boy Advance, I think. Um, but it's also... Um, it's also got some extra stuff at the end, which is just really good. There we go. Um, let's go, let's go this way first. Okay. How do they ever let you run that ship as most of it's off limits so that you're going through structural flaws in the walls? Well that's well that's the thing, Tay. It's because it's a crashed ship, there's a bunch of stuff that's uh that's Damn it. Um, there's a bunch of stuff like there's a bunch of broken stuff in the ship. Um, in in Zero Mission, um, when I when I inevitably play that, um, you'll see the ah oh, yes reserve tank. Uh, you'll see how it's like an actually well guarded ship before it's all you know just trashed and um, ruined. Like, the St. Pete office is shut down tomorrow, but... So are you not off of work tomorrow? <sighs> is this one of those I am told things? repeatedly... I am told repeatedly that family, house safety, all of that is top priority. Sure. So if I just didn't log in tomorrow or didn't do any, no one would say anything. But if I have power, they're not, like, calling us off. Because we're international company, so. Right. They're absolute, like, every messaging has been safety first, the work can wait. Um, uh, but. Yeah. As it should be. But also, be. if I'm gonna hunker down in my house, like, if I can actually get myself distracted and do something work-wise, that might be more sane for me. I mean, you do like to distract yourself with work. Plus, I have a... I have to... I don't have to, but I want to get a, get ahead of this phone call I have to make to someone mm. to try and get on the same page for a subpoena, so oh, yeah, I might that... try and at least do that tomorrow. That makes sense. Thursday, I have to send something, so if if we have power, I have arrangements if we don't, but if we have power, I'll log in to send that at least. Because the production's due that day. So that's, that's the thing, is no one's like, yeah, log in and do all these things for me, but work also doesn't fully stop either. Oh, we've been telling her that for years, Pern, but it, listen, if, if, it, it, 
It does good things for her anxiety to not get behind on work and to have it as a distraction that makes her feel productive. So we don't we only give her we give her light ribbing about it instead of like stop doing that. Well, I tell her to stop doing that still, but I I do understand why she does. And I'm I'm glad that she at least is doing things that help her take care of herself cuz I love you, you know. I, it, it, you say that it's a terrible way to distract myself, but I enjoy spreadsheets, so setting up a spreadsheet and figuring out the um, the annual certification process for the third-party administrators is probably not going to be difficult hard, and if I do it wrong, it's not necessary for tomorrow, so I can just kind of poke at that. True. I'm not really sorry that my brain works this way because it, it has gotten me where I am, so. That's true. It's it's gotten you to the point where you're you're doing work that actually like you find satisfying and enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Like I'm intellectually challenged and I enjoy that. You're very good at what you do. That's that's the rumor on the street. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the rumor by Everybody, including the people that you work with and for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I see the official review, when I see it and not just hear what it supposedly contains. <laughs> no, no, CKY, no, don't, don't, don't do it. She's, listen, we, we, don't do that to her. Code is terrible. I know what you're going to do. Code is bad, and we should feel bad for doing it. And... Honestly, Tay, same. Well, what, 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 what would I? I mean, see, that's the thing: is my brain only likes certain things, so certain things just won't distract me at all. Actually, like putting on my headphones and getting into work is one of the things that like might stop me from just like staring at Mike's weather page or something. Hey, you're ridiculous. It's true. He is, but he's got a point. Hey, ridiculous. Again. Ow. Don't do that. I'm trying. Listen, sometimes sometimes caves throw rocks at you. Just, you know, it is what it is. Hey, that is several hearts. I dig it. Yeah, and I get it that not everyone gets joy from their work. There was work that I didn't get joy from, but the stuff is fun. It doesn't spark. This does not and... spark joy. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> right there with you, buddy. I'm right there with you. Uh... Like, I enjoy my spreadsheet work, and the only thing I really don't enjoy of my work right now is the phone calls, but I can't put that off too, too long. So if I start the phone tag process, I can. I mean, if it's something that you can get done and you feel accomplished and you're, you know, yeah. Exactly. You used to get joy from your work and then you went through a merger. Oh yeah, that'll happen. Well, Tay, let me ask you, because there's, there's, there's never a merger. It's, there's still some company that bought the other company. Were y'all the ones that got bought out? And... Red are See, great. I managed to stay on the side of the company that did the buying. You did. And did the outsourcing, so I am neither sold to another company nor am I bought out. Which I am immensely grateful for. I'm just happy I don't work tomorrow. Yeah, buddy. It means you can play Resident Evil all day. When I'm not, like, having you run around and check the house for mm -hmm. rain. Or hearing can things continue fall to... in the garage. I can continue to exacerbate my first world problem. Oh no, 
I'm too good at the game. I have more <laughs> ammo. Oh no! I have to leave ammo on the ground because I didn't. I can't sell it all in time. Oh no! My name is Chris Lockhart, and I'm too good at Resident Evil 4. Okay, look. Damn, get wrecked. The game Nerd. naturally has an aim wobble when you're aiming with like handguns and such. Mm -hmm. Motion controls wiggle, don't wiggle, wiggle. have that. Yes, it don't have that. So what happens is, is you shoot Get a, a lot more <laughs> accurately. My name is Chris Lockhart, and I think it's a problem that I'm not utilizing every item they give me. It's more I can't pick certain things up. My name is Chris Lockhart, and I can't pick things up that I don't need. I do need them because I need to take them to the merchant to sell them because I don't need them. My name is Chris Lockhart, and I can't capitalism hard enough in this game. Correct. I need it so that I can buy upgrades later for weapons that I don't currently have access to. Hey, remember that time that you got fucking owned? <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. I can't capitalism correctly in my zombie capitalism simulator. <laughs> zombie capitalism simulator. <laughs> 2004. <laughs> Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. There it is. There it is. Uh, okay, I'm kind of... Alright. I'm going to mock you mercilessly for as long as you consider that a problem. Um... I'm trying to remember where I'm at in the game. Oh no, I need to go back up to this door. Okay, I was in the right door. Okay, that, hey, that would require me knowing way that. more about the game. I'm just here to mock Lollipop. I don't do zombies. So it is clearly zombie capitalism simulator based on his complaining. Yeah, that's... she's got a point. Plot-wise, it may absolutely be what you said. I, I wouldn't have have a, a clue. But presidential daughter, zombie capitalism, those sound kind of similar. Yeah, it's I, honestly same thing. Get out of here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the beginning. I remember this. This is the beginning of like. This is the beginning of two Metroid games. Let's move through here and make sure I got everything. Alright, I got that energy tank. Got that. I got a, I got a whooshy majig. That you ever whooshy majig? I do. Oops. Nope. I, I misfired on that one. Every time I see that move, I just feel like that Samus would just have her head, like, embedded in the cave above her. What, like, when, well, when she does the, uh, the, the whooshy majig? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, I can, I can see it. I just, I just kind of 
see something akin to uh, Hildebrand from 14 and just the head stuck in the, the ceiling. There it is. Yeah, I can see that. I, love, I just love that there's like one room in this game and one room only where they use invisible platform. Well, I have my two gallons of tea in the fridge. Well, like one and two thirds. Have you already broken into the hurricane snacks? Uh, no. No, we haven't. I'm very proud of you. We had other snacks, so we're actually eating up stuff in the fridge and freezer. We figure, you know, this is a great time for us to eat up stuff that we are, you know, we've just kind of had hanging around for a while. Oh, yeah, one. we did that back when, uh, um, we redid the electrical panel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're kind of out of that. That's that's fair. That's fair. Although we've refilled the freezer with stuff we actually enjoy, like eat regularly. So. In fairness, the the, the electrical panel thing was literally like three weeks ago. I think it was like a month and a half ago at this point. Was it really? No. Feels like it because it was before the trip, wasn't it? Uh. Oh, I guess no. I, who knows anymore? Oh, that's true. I guess it was before the trip. Time has no meaning anymore. That's also Electric true. install, August 18th and August 19th. Wow, so, it has been a month and a half. Yeah, a little under a month and a half, but... Good gravy. I'm very glad that I that past Elon decided to buy a generator for the electrical install. Past Elon is Do I have a spreadsheet smart. for that? Spreadsheet for what? Like I, I I'm gonna need you to clarify what you're asking if I have a spreadsheet for. No, CKY, that's Your spreadsheets. <laughs> uh, CKY, that's called a calendar, buddy. That's where you put things on that are arranged on whatever date they happen. Yeah, that's that's a calendar. That's a calendar. PKY, you just happen. keep it's your... It's called a planner. Yeah. Well, it's a planner. What is a planner but a calendar with more lines? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's called a planner. But that, that's all. I don't have a spreadsheet for that. But I have a planner that has everything written down and where I migrate things from month to month. Because I was just putting things down for October and January. Uh, head back down this corridor now that I can do it. Man, I'm getting all the energy tanks here. I mean, you don't need a spreadsheet for a calendar. Yeah, that's... The that's... calendar is, like, the correct tool. Making a spreadsheet for that would be incorrect use of spreadsheet, sort of? Like... <laughs> and inefficient. <laughs> yeah, like... I'm here to be inefficient and use tools well, not like brute force some tool into doing something it was never supposed to do in the first place, for the most part. Oh, yeah, no, brute forcing tools to do what it wasn't supposed to do is what developers are paid to do regularly. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a dev job. Yeah, except for you always scold me that we use Excel for, like, everything that you don't think we should, so, you know. There well, it's because you use Excel for things you're not supposed to use Excel for. There are, there are limits to even what we do. <laughs> Yeah, Tay, that's a that's a rough one. I buddy. mean, Viv, I have a spreadsheet for the bills, and like, I had multiple lists regarding the electrical install and things we needed to do and stuff I wanted to make sure got taken care of. But yeah, I'm not gonna make a spreadsheet for a calendar. That would just be frustrating. But you should make a spreadsheet to track your spreadsheets. 
no. Also not gonna happen. Because once the spreadsheet is dead, I don't really, like, need to update that I'm not using it anymore. Her spreadsheets are purpose-built, you see. What would be the purpose of having a spreadsheet to track every spreadsheet, like... To know what your active spreadsheets are. I, I, I know what they are. I made them. Are you sure? Maybe you yes. forgot one. If you had a spreadsheet of spreadsheets, if, you would if know. If I forgot a spreadsheet, then I'm not using it, and then I don't need to know about it. Absolutely fucking bold of you to assume that she has ever forgotten a spreadsheet that she's worked on. If I did forget about it, I didn't need it. Also, like, Google Drive is a list of my spreadsheets, so, like, do I really need a spreadsheet of spreadsheets when I can just, I don't know, go to Google Drive like a normal human being and look at everything and be like, oh, look, there it is. Ta-da! Elena remembers all her babies. That's correct. That's correct. Fantastic. Love that for me. Do I need to make a spreadsheet of your spreadsheets, Chris? Yes. Yeah, that's probably... What are you no. going to do with it? Forget I have it. Yeah. Then no, I'm not I'm not making a tool for you to waste it. You know, not listen, spending my energy doing that. That's that's like basically... Mm -hmm. uh, well, you know, listen, why don't, buddy, why don't you make a spreadsheet of your spreadsheets? Then that can be the only one that matters if you lose it. Right, so he'll put it in his wallet, go to the movies, see an really awful movie, and it'll be oh, gone. Oh, here we oh, go. But he'll swear he knows where it is. Uh-huh, five times before he goes and looks for it. Did that recharge my reserve? Oh, -ho -ho. so I'm only missing one reserve tank and one regular tank. And I think I know where the one regular tank is. I just have to go get it. Why is there a chicken with purple eyes? It's an it's an alien. Uh, it's like a little alien chicken. They're, it's a native creature. It's a creature native to the planet. You are an accomplished adult, Tay. Don't let society tell you otherwise. Fuck society and their Viv, ridiculous standards. Um. So I'm. I, I almost guarantee you've heard the story of if, but maybe you're just wanting me to tell it for comedy again. But but you see, Lollipop and I planned to get married on April 1st. And the day before, because it was work day and we'd both taken the day off, the day before, I was letting him know, like, hey, you should make sure you have your driver's license and social security card because we're going to need it for the marriage certificate. Yeah, yeah, it's in my wallet. I, That's fine. Okay, but have you laid hands on my wallet? They, they're in my shorts from the other day. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Like five times we went through this. Uh, we were laying in bed about to go to sleep. And I'm like, did you ever actually lay hands on your wallet? Like I've been asking you to do all day. And he's like, no, I'm like... I kick him out of bed and I'm like, go lay hands on your wallet so that we know where everything is for tomorrow. He couldn't find it. He lost his wallet the uh, night before we were supposed to get married. I, um, I have a temper. I might not have been the most pleased about this. Mostly that I had asked, you know, like five or so times and, you know, had he figured out that it was lost early in the day, we could have either replaced his driver's license earlier that day or we could have gone and looked at the movie theater for it. You know, just there were plenty of things we could have attempted to do that we just did not even have the opportunity to do. So... Lollipop's wallet has now forever remained chained to his purse ever since, as a condition of the fact that he did indeed get married also the next as a day. Also as a condition of his release. <laughs> he 
he, uh, he, uh, also, um, has to live with me telling the story every so often and, mm -hmm. and, and mocking him occasionally. It's like once every three months or so. Yeah. I and wish it was so, once so every three if, months. Oh, so I mean if, publicly. So if he wants to, you know, keep a, his spreadsheet in a safe place, he can put it on in, in, in his wallet for him to, you know, promptly lose, of course. Yeah, I have told the story a couple times, but maybe not too, too often. But yeah, yeah, that is the, the story of uh, how... Uh, Lollipop will forever more have to know where his uh, wallet is. It's okay. We tell because... the story for you. Yes, you do. Because I, I, I was upset, and then I woke up the next morning. I was like, all right, so we have to go to the DMV first to replace your driver's license. We don't need your social security card for the marriage certificate, so we can just go to the social security to change my name and get your new card then. And he's like, wait. You're still gonna marry me? I'm like, yes, you dumbass. I'm just mad at you. It's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Does Elena have a mock-up of this mockery so it doesn't have to go- See, he doesn't have to go to mock trial. He has to live with me, and that might be worse. <laughs> Who else but fucking Lockhart? Please see- Please see the commit history on the zunderscore.tv website. Uh, source code in GitHub. But his wallet is safe. It has never been lost since, so... Yeah, he made really. the mistake fucking once. And only yeah. once. Yeah. Listen, this is... this. It's like the documentation. He didn't read the documentation once. Then I told him... He asked a question, and then he didn't read the documentation once, and then I told him to read the documentation a second time, and he hasn't had to ask a question about it since. He claims that the worst part is that he's pretty sure he lost it at a shitty movie. I don't remember something Batman, Superman, something Batman like that. Superman, yes. Batman versus and, Superman. Uh, Ooh. So... It wasn't even a good movie that earned him this this pain. Yeah. It's okay. At least this one, Chris, that I remember. I don't remember. You know, it's not like the other ones. Like you, you shutting my thumb in a door that I that I just have no memory of. Oof. Well, that's because I'm like gonna eternally be guilty of that one. <laughs> he feels bad about that one, and I'm just like, don't feel bad. I don't even remember it at this point. Oh, that was probably- it was probably my fault, Viv. I was probably just being klutzy as hell. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I would have to remember it, and I don't. It was an accident. It- it- I did not do it on purpose. Correct. You would not do that on purpose. So, Poor is buddy. the duck friendly? Yeah, yeah, it's- so, Yeah, here, I'll show you. So, anytime you see the native animals in this game, there's only a couple of spots where you see them. But what they do is they're context clues. You see how the you see how it does the thing that I do? Ah. Oh, so this okay. is this so is it's one teaching you how to It's teaching you to do it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So it's a very good animal, which is why whenever we play this game and I'll show you in a few minutes, this is why we save the animals. We always save the animals. I mean, it'd fight you if you didn't. That's right. They deserve saved. That's right, they do. Oh, I need to take the bottom corridor. Because I need to go back to Norfair and make sure I don't have anything left in there. <laughs> or no more. Or Norfair. Or whatever. I don't know. I'm a hundred and what is this? You're a hundred and what is this? Yeah, you know. I mean, you are the adultiest adult, so you might, like, mentally be a hundred. Oh, yeah, some days I, I honestly feel, feel that in my soul. 
I mean, yes, because you're the adultiest adult. Okay, I would l like the the work all day part. I kind of have down the th the sleep all night, buddy. I'd love that. You stop that, Viv. You stop okay, that. but like. He's Does your wrong. beard smell like a thousand pine trees? Because I feel like that's required to be a lumberjack. That's true. No, it doesn't. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be pine, but it does have to be some sort of some sort of cutting wood. Yeah, I bought Chris like beard oil uh, as a gag gift once. That was like pine or something, and and he basically said it made him feel like he needed to go chop wood. Mm hmm. Specifically, I said punch trees. Yes, he oh, did okay, say punch yeah. trees. It's true. And then we had a whole discussion about how he's like, like real life Steve from Minecraft. Pine or other did man I say scent. Ma did I? I was gonna say, did I say man scent, Viv? Because that's kind of what I was thinking, but I don't even know if I actually said that. No, I, I don't know, but it'd be hilarious if you did. Some wood man scent punch tree. Mm. Ra ra. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Uh which, which is all also equally hilarious to me because I've I've mentioned before to uh Elena that one of my exes mentioned that it was a problem that I did not seem like the kind of type to chop wood. I still don't know why that matters. I know how to handle a saw, and chopping wood is not something that I need you to do in our in the nine years we've been together. I it, fuck, I'll hire someone to do that. Punch trees and hurricanes. Yes, this this is the Florida man way, ghost. I'm sure we know someone who is better at chopping wood than we are, and if we don't, I'm sure I can pay someone to be better at it than we are. Maybe there was a thing here and I already got it. I'm just gonna assume that I got it. Where's my scope? My, my, my x-ray specs. Yay, Tay! I don't know, punching trees is only the Minecraft way for like... I don't know, one or two trees and then you make a wood axe and then you're never punching trees again? Uh, mm. You know. Why would you punch trees? You can you you'll you start digging almost immediately, and you can have stone axes pretty quickly. Right, but you will use those stone axes. You, you use that stone to make more mining picks, so that you can go diggy diggy holing. Oh, I'll sooner. come up with more stone than we could ever need. You could have stone axes forever. Hey, proud of you, buddy. Forever. Yeah, she she throws away stone. Sure. But we're talking we have to be talking about early Minecraft here because that's the only time that you punch a tree. That's true. right. So you punch one tree, you make wood axes out of the first tree. And then after you get sick of wood axes, you go get some stone and you have stone axes. So unless you're impatient, you really only need to punch like one or two trees. A creeper is never going to destroy everything, like, for longer than, like, five minutes. And even then, it won't destroy your inventory, so you could just run back. Like, within five minutes, I typically have a chest set up with, uh, stuff in it. Am I full? I am full of all of the stuff. Full of baloney? Oh boy, you sure said it, sister. Pumpkin spice baloney? God, I hate you. I know. You're such a turd. So, um. If there's no, uh. We're not working. And you have. Uh, power on uh, on tomorrow. 
Are you, are you are you gonna attempt to stream tomorrow? No, no, I'm not gonna attempt to stream tomorrow. Um, we are. I'm going to. I'm since we're gonna have like the brunt of it is coming tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to do the taking care of Bean and Loaf thing and give them extra snuggles to ensure that they feel the safe and stuff. How does how does Loaf do with storms? Does she care about? She really doesn't like like when we get like big thunders and stuff like that and lots of rain. She'll just get up in the window and look out there or just chill. She's she's very like she's very I don't know. She's just she's very unaffected. I was gonna say our cats don't seem to care too much about storms. Although Elliot seems concerned about everything, so it's hard to tell. Elliot is always concerned about everything, yeah. But, uh, no, she's... She's very good with storms. She's, uh... She doesn't seem bothered by them at all. Oh, yeah, no... The only thing that really scares Loaf, aside from, you know, the occasional, like, super loud noise, um, is she'll, like, run if there's, if she detects, like, people that aren't us. And that's about it. That's about it for Loaf and the, like... So does that mean if I ever bring Bean her her muffin tins that I keep meaning to bring Bean, that, that the Loaf will be ferreted, away her, ferreted herself away somewhere? She will, um, but I, with, with the right kind of warning, um, I can usually grab her in time for you to at least get a sniff in. Yay! Yeah. Now it's time for Elena to get a sniff in. Yes. No, Loaf gets the sniff. Yeah, Loaf gets the sniff, of. buddy. Of the Elena. Uh-huh. Ow. I don't want spikes. Don't do that. Ow, Typically, ow. Typically, it's not good to work, walk on spikes. Oh, yeah. They've ridden sure. on that mechanical low tad there. Oh, it's already 10. Crap. Just about, yeah. How long you go until? Uh, not too much longer. I'm just about done. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I'm just going through and finding, like, the last of the items right now. Actually, I might just go ahead and finish up, because, like, I've gotten... I've gotten a lot of stuff. I've got... I've gotten most of it. Let's see, what's the... Uh, how many total are there? Uh, max is 230 in missiles. I think I have 200 max. Super missiles is 50 at 45. Okay, uh, well, I'm exhausted, so good luck! Bye! Thanks, bye! Alright. Also, there's a... there's a Nova. <gasps> Hi, Nova. Nova, what are you doing up past your bedtime, Missy? It was a surprise stream stream. I had to come in and, you know, do stuff. That's regular Nova, not Robot Nova. Oh, good. Although Robot Nova was very nice. We enjoyed her very much, but I like regular Nova. The original. It's like, it's like, you know, the Coca-Cola. But Nova, Nova-Cola? Yes, Nova-Cola. Uh, I, I, if I have made hurricane jokes, I don't, I had, didn't notice. So yeah, if you have one, Go for it. Yeah, I can't remember if you made any. None of them really blew me away. There it is. 
That's not the time, even though your jokes are obvious. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Night. Well done. Vegeta, no! Vegeta, yes! There it is. Alright, now let's go, uh, I guess let's go fight some Metroids. And Mother Brain. And then we'll call it a night. But I thought you were Metroid. I'm sorry, I need to go fight some... Um, what's the thing called? What's the thing called? Oh yeah, Viv and I had a discussion today. He's still, he's still very salty with you. He's still very salty with you about that. <laughs> it's fine, Vivian. I love you. It'll be okay. L Lolly, no. Lolly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, which is, that, that is exactly what happened. I will let you. Yeah, you wouldn't be the first to tell him that. You probably won't be the last. <laughs> it's really surging up high tonight. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's true. Hey, we're not just a bunch of blowhards around here, okay? We will shoot the hurricane. This is no joke. This is a threat. This is a threat. In before the influx of Florida Man stories on Friday's headlines. How many of said stories do you think are going to exist where the Florida Man was not wearing pants? Uh, minimal, honestly. Definitely no depression to be found within this discussion. No, here, never. No. All right, I need to get back to criteria. I think that's probably gonna be my fastest route back to... Actually, let's see, where in criteria does that put me? Um... Yeah. Yeah, I can deal with that. I can... I can go to Criteria from there. I like that. Alright, let's... Oh, nice, Tay. Nice. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. It's gonna make me go this way. Yeah, I'm missing several missile tanks, but I don't care. I don't care. We're we're just gonna fucking go. I have a I have a thing to go destroy. I have a planet to save. Okay, I'm glad you're enjoying it, buddy. I love this game. I I didn't get to play it when it first came out either. I I picked it up when uh with emulation and whatnot. But this is... This is just lovely for me to be able to do now. Oh no! Oh, I didn't mean to get running so... soon. Also, something that I'm glad that they, uh... They don't do in future games. Uh... I'm glad that the, the speed boost, like the shine spark, the thing, the, the whooshy thing when you do the speed boost, 
I'm glad that in later games it doesn't use your energy. Because that, that just seems terrible to me. Like, why would it use HP? Why does nothing else that you do, ability-wise, require HP but that thing? Because you touch yourself at night. That's fair. Hey kids, you want to go blow up a giant brain? Are you ready, kids? Cool time. I, you know... <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, two, three, and the big fella. Yeah. Oh, I gotta, I gotta reduce the death counter too because Kit did a false rip at the end of yesterday's stream. Not sure you have the brain power for this. Well, I'll tell you, buddy. You better, you better figure it out because this is a mother of a boss. Gosh dang it, Kit. Gosh dang it, Bobby. Mm. Oh, there it is. Okay. Is it psychedelic? Oh, it will be. All right. Viv, you might actually want to get your uh... shit. All right, Viv. You do the ripping, I do the counting. That's, That's how fun. this works. All right, see, these are Metroids. These are actually real Metroids. And what happens is, if one of those motherfuckers gets a, attached to you, it will drain your life like, like there's no fucking tomorrow. It will eat, it will eat your life force for fucking lunch. Also, that's the sound a Metroid makes. So, you know, there's that. Yes, I am, that's that's right, I am Metroid. The Metroid 2 has you fight one of those things like right out of the gate. Oh, yeah. Well, and then there's the different forms that you fight in fucking Metroid 2. Because there's like the Alpha, yes. Beta, Gamma, and Omegas. And then you find the fucking queen at the end. That was my, uh... That was my first Metroid game. I played that one, and then I played Prime. And then Zero Mission got weaved in there at some point. God, I love Zero Mission. So... Oh god, oh god! See? See, these things are no fucking joke. They are... They are parasitic life forms of the highest order. Oh, is it a baby? Are there baby Metroids? There's, there's one baby at the very end of, um, of Metroid 2. Also, hi, Gatton. <gasps> Karen! Oh, yeah, these things. Metroid Fusion. Oh, I love Metroid Fusion. Oh, boy. You ready for some shitting? 
Oh, that's Do Lolly. It. That's Lolly in the background there. See all the stuff that's like crumbling away. Oh. Hey. Um, hey, guess what, everybody? That's a, now look at the big baby! <laughs> wow. Oh no. No 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 big no big baby no big baby no But wait, but wait <laughs> It stopped. See how it leaves me with exactly one HP and then it's like wait a minute and Mama. Mama. That's, that's the baby from the end of Metroid 2. It realizes that you it realizes who you are. Yeah, no Viv, that was that was scripted. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, that'll happen. And there's my HP. Anything known in canon lore about the world the Metroids originate from? Uh, SR388, well, that's, um... I mean, that's where Metroid 2 takes place. Hi, Hiltzy. Welcome back, buddy. But yeah, Gatton, I never played the Prime games. Um, I just... I don't know. I, I I didn't have a Wii, and then I did buy them. Uh, I bought, like, the, the trilogy for the Wii U. Um, but I didn't play any of the Prime games, because, like... Uh, I don't know, the motion controls just... I'm not great with motion controls. Am I winning? Uh, actually, so far, so good, yes. Okay, Karen. I'll be here, at least for a few more minutes. I mean, you know Prime 1 and 2 have GameCube ports, right? Or not ports, but like they were originally on GameCube, right? I know. And there it is, the mother brain. Okay, we just pump this thing full of missiles. A Zunder related thing at the end of the new Rick and Morty. Now, you fight Mother Brain in the first Metroid game, but this doesn't happen. And this is why we save. We save super missiles. Oh yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I could do this all day. Go ahead. I'm not even fucking mad. I'm not even mad. Let's go. Let's go. And left you with 60 day energy. <laughs> nice.
Do it again. Come on. Hit me. Is that the best you can do? You big genetic freak. Let's go. Built in the lab. <laughs> you win with nice carrot. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was that? And do you have something to say? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um num 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 num. Um num 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 num. Look at the baby. Look at it go. Is that thing the Super Metroid? That's the Super Metroid, you see. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, because it's big and giant and... Are you ready? Are you ready? A good baby. You like SpongeBob? I'm so ready. Hey, fuck you thing. Oh, Tay, you are witnessing the end of Super Metroid, buddy. Kinda Hiltzy, yes. Uh-oh. Oh, you have done fucked up now. Yeah, eat it, bitch! Eat hyper beam! Literally all wait, sides you're supposed of... to wait a turn before you, you can use that again. No, this is still my first turn. Doesn't matter. All all side scroller video game explosions are just like that. They all ex look exactly like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How you feel now? How you feel now? Killed Samus' his adopted kiddo. That's right. All right, I have three minutes. And I gotta make a... I gotta make a pit stop on the way. Shit. Wait, does that work? I forget if that works. That does work. How about that? Fuck you, I'm leaving. Power at 400%. How about that? Need hyper beam, bitches. Oh yeah, I forgot there's the lava. Hey, look out for the lava. Or, I guess it's acid. Damn, I'm already down to two minutes. There we go. You kind of look like jams are head into the ceiling. Hey, remember this? This is the corridor from the very beginning. Because this is part of the original game. It all comes back together, you know? All right, here we go, here we go. No, nope, come on. I got 90 seconds to do this right. We are not going to the ship yet. You always, I repeat, you always save the animals. Get out of here, little buddy. Go. You gotta go. That's right. You always save the animals. If you play this game and you don't at least attempt to save the animals, 
You have done it incorrectly, and you are heartless, and you should feel ashamed. At least if you know about the animals. That's it. Frickin' know what those animals, that's right. Now the whole planet has blown up. Okay. Oh, I don't know if it showed it. Oh, did I miss it? I might have missed it. Um. No, oh, on the right. Okay. On the right, if you if you caught it, there's a little tiny whoosh that went away. That's the animals being able to escape. noise that was it <sighs> Nova I love you go have some sleepy sleeps alright we did it we're done oh hello there's a loaf sitting and looking at me look what are you doing baby she, she came in here and sat and looked at me hi baby what are you doing Oh, she's such a good loaf. Oh, here's the best loaf. Loaf, what are you doing? Well, we did it. And... in a second. We'll listen to that awesome music. Good. You done a great job, the short. Here you go. We lost that one. There you go. Good job. And there crumbs on your tummy now. You remember when you were worried that she wasn't going to like her home? Buddy, that was like seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Got some treats because she's the best baby. She's such a baby. Alright. Well, let's see how I did. I did like, I want to say I did like 85-ish percent. Maybe 90. Uh, I got helmet open. That's fine. Because I didn't do it fast and I didn't do it complete. Ninety! Ninety's not bad. I'll fucking take it. I will fucking take it. Well, that's it, folks. Super Metroid is wrapped up. Uh, well, thanks for watching me go through this. Uh, I really just absolutely love this game. There we go. Um, but thank y'all for watching along with me. I 
I love this fucking game. Uh, and Viv, you got to listen. You got to use the button once. You got to rip me once. Okay. So everybody wins. I beat the game. I died once. You got to use the button. Lockhart got to steal the fucking rip count from you the first time. It's fine. It's fine. Um, so, hey, remember, no stream tomorrow. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, hurricane safe stuff here. Uh, so, um, I'll keep everybody posted in the Discord. It's no tunic, but it was nice to watch. That's that's true. It's true, I did. Ooh, I died so many times in that game. But, uh, hopefully we'll be back on Friday. Uh, for a big Mario Kart night, uh, if that gets pushed, I will let everybody know uh, in Discord and on Twitter. Hey, if you're not in those, do that. Go Discord and my socials. Instagram is mostly food, almost exclusively food. Anyway. Um, yeah, all the socials. Yeah, also that. That's the, also that true. Yes, yes. Um, okay. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go see who we're going to see. Who are we going to go see? I love you, Karen. Thank you. Uh, paintbrush is... Paintbrush is working on their bullet journal. Let's go see them. Yeah, let's go see Paintbrush. We love Paintbrush. They're good egg. Okay. Uh, raid. Fear my paintbrush. Uh, all right. Let's go give Paintbrush some love. Um, they are wonderful. We love them very much. They are a magical, sweet, non-binary baby, and we must go give them all of the love. Um, all right. Hopefully, I will see y'all on Friday. Thank y'all for coming to hang out during the scheduled stream. Uh, thanks again to Ghosty for the raid. And uh, I will see y'all, hopefully, on... <laughs>